Hey guys, how's it going? Now we all love using Spotify as our preferred music streaming app, but I mean the app in itself can be quite buggy, especially if you're using the desktop version. I mean it works fine on iPhone and Android, but the desktop version is as buggy as it goes. Sure, you can use the web version inside a web browser, but it's not as good as using the desktop interface, right? Well, how do you fix that? That's what this video is all about. This is one from Guiding Tech, and in today's video, I'll show you five super easy fixes to ensure that Spotify works flawlessly on your Windows 11 PC. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that you can do is very simple, is just relaunch the Spotify app. I know it sounds super stupid and super simple, but trust me, a lot of people just take this for granted. They just forget that, you know, simply relaunching an app in itself can just make things work fine. To do this, simply click on the red X on the top right of the window and close Spotify. Just give it some time to shut down completely. Wait for a few seconds and relaunch to check if everything is working as intended. If not, don't worry, we have more fixes as well. So basically, you try to close Spotify on its own and maybe it did not close on in the way it was supposed to, right? Well, in that case, you can make use of Task Manager to force a shutdown ensure that everything, all the processes that Spotify was using are completely terminated and then it starts from scratch. To do that, press Ctrl, Shift and Escape on your keyboard to launch the task manager. Now under the processes tab, look for Spotify. Once you do, right click on it and then select end task. Wait for a few moments till Spotify disappears from the task manager. Now relaunch it and hopefully things should be working fine. Alright, now there's a possibility that your Spotify app does launch in fact but doesn't function the way it's supposed to. Well, in that kind of scenario, you can always turn off hardware acceleration. A lot of users have actually reported this method to fix their problems on Spotify, and here's how you can do that. Once you open the Spotify window, press the Alt key on your keyboard, and under the File menu, select View. Now, uncheck the Hardware Acceleration option and close Spotify. Wait for a few moments and relaunch it again, and hopefully your issues should now be fixed. If that also does not do it, well, you can just resort to the good old rebooting your Windows system in itself. I mean, it's quite easy. Just click on the Windows icon and select Restart. It'll take a few moments, and then once your PC boots up, give it some time to completely load all the apps and then click on Spotify. Hopefully, everything should work fine now. If all else fails, maybe there was a problem when Spotify's package was installed on your PC. So the best way to go around it is to uninstall and reinstall Spotify again. Now, here comes the tricky part. Reinstalling it is easy, but uninstalling is not as go to simple as it sounds. So here's how you can completely uninstall Spotify from the PC. First up, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and right click on Spotify to select the uninstall option. If the app asks for a confirmation, just click OK. Once Windows has finished uninstalling Spotify, then press the Windows plus E key on your keyboard to open the file explorer. Now navigate to the following folder. You need to delete the Spotify folder here. If you are unable to view update under your username, right click on quick access and then select options. Under the view tab, Click on show hidden files, folders and drive options and then click on apply and ok. You can now see the hidden folder named app data. Now as for installing, here's a tip. Do not install Spotify from the Windows Store. In fact, Spotify themselves have suggested that it's recommended to install it using the full installer package. You can find the direct link to that from the description down below. Just download Spotify from there and install it seamlessly. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Vam from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.